now in this figma to page fly master class let's cover the next thing one of the thing was we did until that section is overlapping that section up to the image how we can do that so let's do it first of all let's click this row then go to styling panel go to styling panel and if we go scroll down we will find a place called where we will see all the course that we have added with pagefly one of the thing i will do is give this position absolute okay this is something related to web design if you know you will understand it but the basic of it is that you are just giving some position so we can position this uh, top of the image okay so this is whole basic here so let's click this one and as we give it position absolute uh, position absolute now let's give some minus margin now you can see it is working properly okay and if you see there is some space in the left in the right okay so how we can do that we will give minus margin in the right 50 minus margin in the right okay something like this until maybe 80 and let's give it 70 okay this will look good now if you want to reduce the space between the icons what we will do will decrease the spacing here and then we'll go here and increase the spacing uh, from margin from padding for that row if you want to match this something close to this okay this will be i think very large so give five and five but let's see the line height click the paragraph okay and let's go and give it medium and let's make it 20 pixel okay okay let's make it 14 and let's make it let's click on copy style paste style paste style paste style okay good now if we see this how it looks but if the position we are not happy with i can decrease the minus margin just like that if i want to make it something in the middle perfect if you think this is not i think this is perfect okay this is perfect for me so i'll go with it i am happy with it and if we see design this is something like this but maybe the left margin need to be increased okay same goes here okay good so now it is looking perfect okay i am i it is doing good so we have done until this uh, and this is looking good right so now let's see how this looks in mobile so this is the tricky part and a very important part to understand now if you see it completely changing from desktop to mobile version the image coming before the text but the icons remains in the bottom right how we can achieve something like that so that is the question okay so if we see this mobile version this how it looks so now how we can make this uh, in the top how we can do that so that is the point so first of all what i will do what i will do let's do that first of all for that image what i will do i'll go to uh, for this uh, for this i will what i will do i'll go to general and then in here we will find a option called visibility we'll hide this in tablet and hide this in mobile so if i go to mobile now this section won't be available anymore perfect now we don't need this image as well for that area okay what we need if we see the design we need some icons just like that but in a different view right so what we can do what i can do i can just uh, click on this and i can duplicate this part and then drag this under this area okay and then i can go to styling and first of all remove the position absolute and as well i can or i need to remove the margin from here as well and then go to general and this need to be removed as well and then i need to give some margin just like this then uh, i'll uh, explain what this means and we also don't need this in mobile uh, so i'll go to general and hide this in tablet hide this in mobile 
and for this image as you can see this image design is also changed in desktop it was black badge and white text in mobile it is something just a little change the percentage moves to the bottom this badge moves to the bottom so we'll do same with this as well so if you see this frame this whole frame contains the whole image so i'll click this uh, frame go to export and export this as a whole image now i'll go here uh, to my design then i'll click this add element click on image and i'll drag the image before the headline so i'll explain why i am adding it here so i'll click on select image and then i will upload image and upload that image that we are going to use only for mobile so keep this in mind so please give some attention you will understand this step by step and then i will cl click the block and i will drag the block under this okay perfect and this image will be hidden for desktop and laptop and this image will be hidden for mobile and okay perfect and this section need to be look something like this where there will be no background so i will click on it i will go to styling and i will scroll down and go to background and then i will make it white okay perfect now this needs to be clicked and then it needs to be hide in desktop in laptop it is extra thing we don't need this and if i go to mobile now you will find we have the image in the top just like we required just like the figma design now we have something very similar to that right perfect okay perfect then we have this here okay now let's uh, click on this and click this block element let's make it block and then uh, let's make it block let's make it center align let's click the paragraph make it center align and then let's let, let's make it uh, 12 now let's give some margin let's make it zero okay and now let's remove the padding as well or give some margin from the top so we have some breathing space right and for mobile if we see what is the headline size for mobile it is 38 pixel for paragraph it is 18 pixel okay so let's give click the add a line and then just change it from 54 to 38 let's click this to make it something similar 44 perfect but it is just in two line and also center a line so let's decrease it until it's become in two line so it's 25 uh, and let's uh, decrease it to 31 same let's make it center a line okay now click the button uh, make it full width okay perfect and for font family i think it should be increased to 18 at least perfect and for this uh, as you can see it needs to be reduced so let's reduce it to something 11 okay so let's uh, decrease the okay mar let's give it 10 okay now click in this row go to general and now let's make it two column okay first of all i i am not uh, trying to make it something very similar to this because as you can see it is looking good but if i make it four it will be broken and it will not look good so i am going with two two layouts so i am mobile responsive covered and everything covered and it does not look odd okay so click the section and then just remove 150 padding is not required 40 is good enough i think uh, so i think everything should be removed okay and then there is if i click the row there is some border so let's remove this border to none okay and this looks very very nearly perfect and good looking in mobile as well okay the spacing is also good the look feel also good right perfectly aligned okay so let's decrease this okay good so it's looking good so this how the logic of mobile responsive actually works so let's make this go to tab let's make it one column so it will be perfect and let's uh, make everything center align let's click on display flex justify content center let's make this headline center let's make it 40 or in single line let's make it 30 let's make it 35 let's make it center align let's uh, make it center align let's make 
this also center a line okay this reflex justify content center and let's click this raw and disable this and also now we can make it in the single whole line okay and then remove the spacing a little bit more and this for this let's uh, go with zero maybe or let's give 10 let's make it zero or give it 20 let's make it left up okay let's just make the those adjustment perfectly let's remove it i don't liking it for this device okay 40 let's make it 46 okay good now let's make it zero let's make it not zero let's make it 30 okay let's click on this make it full width okay this will be good okay click on this section and position let's make position absolute position relative okay not absolute because i don't want to make it absolute so let's give some padding here at least 30 so it is also laptop friendly so we make everything mobile friendly and desktop friendly but uh, we can decrease the spacing here okay okay 70 okay good so we have completed this first section with everything to be mobile responsive right so we'll continue from the next section from here so if you understand this particular section how things working in mobile responsive then we can use this same fundamental for all other sections so i don't need to uh, i don't need to repeat those things like how this comes in the center how i am making image fast how i am hiding one element only for mobile and showing one for desktop what is the logic behind it i think everything will be clear to you if you watch until this part so please keep with me we will design and explain everything step by step so i am clicking the save button so our progress will be saved and let's continue from the next section which is a as seen on logo section.